Hey Glam Dolls and Gents, this is Tanya coming to you from the Glam Queen's Kingdom with a uh, process video for day four, uh, truth or comfort for the True North uh, Navigating Life Storms devotional kit uh, published by, uh, by the Well for God. And um, I'm going to be journaling in Nahum 1-7, which says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And this just talks about um, you know, our, convic our convictions, self-examination of our convictions. Um, you know, uh, are we following God's truth or our comforts and conveniences? Um, and a few notes that I made, it says, you God and your wisdom and importance are most important to me. You Yahweh are the most high. I know you Yahweh are in control, even when life isn't. Lord, please let my convictions my actions and what I believe stand and rest on the word of God. And so um, that's what, um, you know, I'm going to be focusing on this afternoon. And um, one thing I want to do before I start in the Bible itself, I actually want to just show you this um, thought that I had to um, attach my uh, tag here. What I did was I took a, a piece of the um, paper that, um, accompanied the, um, not accompanied the kit, but it was um, one of the papers from the uh, associate, associated package of papers that came, that coordinated with the kit, I'm sorry. And what I did was I typed out the Nahum 1-7 verse, and then I typed my summation, what it meant to me in my own words. And my summation just says, Yahweh, most high, my God is good. He is a strong fortress. He strengthens me in my days of trouble affliction and or distress he cares for me he knows me in him only do i trust take refuge seek shelter reverence and so that's my summation and what i wanted to do was to go ahead and attach the tag to the bow this is a part the bow that came on one of the uh packages that um, i received from by the well for god and all i'm going to do is take my tiny attacher and staple it to the um the tag and i want to make sure that it is adhered well so i'm going to do it again and hopefully you can see this I want to make sure that it, it won't come out later um, after handling and things like that. But what I plan to do is to attach the one of the buttons that came with the devotional kit to um, this area here to cover up where I've stapled it. And what I want to do is paper clip, I think, paper clip it to the page at the top, or I want to make a particular, uh, maybe a, a, a uh, an envelope type situation where it it actually um, holds this particular tag so it's one of those accoutrements you can just kind of take in and out so what I wanted to do was to show you how I did this before I even put it in the Bible so all I did was again staple the tag to the bow using my tiny attacher using this and then I'm going to glue this particular um, button to the tag. So here you have it. I have some ultimate glue here and I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. I'm gonna open it up and all I, what I did was I removed the back from the button, took the, the uh, backing off of it and all I'm going to do is put the glue right around the edges. Put it right around the edge of the um, the button as you can see here and this will dry clear so don't be alarmed by the um, the white glue that you may see um, around the edge because it's gonna it's gonna again dry clear so it'll be okay um, and then I'm gonna set the button here like that And then what I want to do is I'm going to take this to the side and set one of my acrylic blocks on it 
and let it dry in place so that there's no movement or whatever um, to it for a few minutes. And yeah, so it's gonna look like that. So I'm not sure how I'm going to house it on the page yet, but we'll get to that. We'll cross that, river, that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> so now that that is over drying, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on super fast forward so that we can jump right into this process.